All right then, guys, welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. I'm Dude Long Couch. We're still here in Vanaheim, and we're going to continue exploring this abandoned village with Freya. I don't know where she went. Oh, I guess she's, is that her right there? How you doing, Freya? Good? I guess that's the way through. Uh, I was gonna say, I, was, I think I missed something right here. There, a little bit of silver. And let's check back here. Got a little chest. A little chesty chest. I am very much hoping that today goes better than yesterday. Oh, look. You can tell there's something over there. But the question is, is it missable? Or is it main path stuff? There's a wire right there. I don't think I can get over there right now. I'm gonna assume that we wrap around there at some point. And if not, well, we'll just have to figure it out later. <laughs> I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. Oh. Press R2 or R1 at the end of a blade swing to perform a death from above attack? Uh, oh. I see what they're saying. After we swing on this guy right here. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Bam! Ein her yar. <laughs> uh, let's see if there's anything useful here. Some carry blades for attacking in quick succession. Try to parry these to interrupt their flow. Yeah, like you have to tell me that at this point. <laughs> Jeez. Hold on a second, buddy. Wanted to hit you with that. Frozen breach. Bronze here complete. Alright. Oh! I was looking at my meter. I was like, oh, is my is my frost full? And it was. But then I got hit because I was looking at it. Unfortunate. I'm angry at you for that. Therefore, you get the big attack. Who's who's throwing shit at me? Where are you? There you are. Oh, where did you come from? All right, all right. I'm gonna keep you all in front of me. I'm gonna pop that. Jesus. The enemies are strong in this area, man. I'm trying to not get surrounded. But it's tricky in this game because you can constantly hear stuff behind you. And sometimes they're actually there, sometimes they're not. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Tell you what, if you can actually get multiple people lined up with those rage attacks, that's what's up. You can actually deal damage to multiple opponents at once and save yourself some rage. I was trying to pick up the red one there, but I got the green one instead. Ow! Where are you coming from? Like, I can't tell where they're coming from. Let's get down here. Okay. Whew. Bye, Frost Attack. No, sir. Don't want it. Ouch. Ouch, bro. Restoring shield? I'm not sure what that was. Okay. Thank you for just interrupting my attack. Let's try some blades. Oh, 
I need help. I need help in a bad way. Whew, that was close. Thank you. All right, come here. Who's left now? All right, I can still hear somebody trying to kill me. I just have no idea where they are. I wonder if they're stuck outside the level. Oh, there you are. What are you doing all the way over here? You know, it's bad enough that you're trying to kill me, but then you can't even have the decency to come to me. You make me come to you. What Odin did to me. He's desecrated every memory I have of home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. In Sparta. We were taken from our homes as children and raised in the Agoji. We marched though we drowned, fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, or were food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made. That was, uh, pretty bleak, Kratos. <laughs> Kratos doesn't even have anything to say to that. What's back here? When I was insolent, I was placed in a burlap bag and beaten with reeds. Pretty standard, really. This is where I came from. My uncanny ability to go back to where I came from. Like it's a new place. Alright. Yeah, it's just... It's crazy how much more difficult this game gets when you don't have a partner helping you out. I really wouldn't have guessed that would have been the case, but it's turning out to be quite true. It could also just be that the enemies in this area just hit harder than usual. That took unnecessarily long. Rage is ready to go. What's going on here? Hello. Om nom nom. I can't wait to get some armor and weapon upgrades, man. I'm starting to feel a little underleveled compared to some of these assholes. Chicken? Oh, man. <laughs> as soon as I saw that chicken, my stomach started growling. <laughs> uh, turns out I'm hungry. Speaking of our level, by the way, I need to just double check for myself. How long until I can upgrade my Spartan Rage, my Fury Rage? Oh, I'm darn close. We just need a little more than 100. 114. I think it's going to be my next upgrade, guys. Although we do also have a Blade upgrade waiting for us next These time we see a dwarf. We found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. <gasps> All right, so you're saying there's something I have to freeze with my axe? Probably that thing right there. And then the way becomes safe. Until I remove my axe again. I do vaguely recall that. That mechanic. Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. 
You know well how that worked out. The norms. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. Well, prophecy's a tricky thing. Who even makes these prophecies? That's what I want to know. Hello. Mine. My kingdom for a heavy runic attack. Shatter Star Shield. A shield bathed in the radiant light of a thousand dying stars. Force of the cosmos. Not gonna lie, that sounds pretty freaking cool. <laughs> Double tap L1 to shield punch and blow enemies backward, increasing in power when fully charged. This is a shield fit for staying mobile and charging up. So... Oh, that's a decent defense upgrade, too. So, hmm. This is saying... So I wouldn't be able to do the parry follow-up attack with this. But... Okay, this is what I was wondering. How do you charge it up? Hold L1 to charge up your shield. Blocking an attack depletes some charge. Shield punch right before an attack hits you to absorb it and gain a burst of charge. Oh. So, this almost works sort of the same as a parry, except you charge it beforehand. And you have to, like, plan out when you're going to use it. But it's almost certainly going to be, like, an even more powerful technique, right? It looks pretty freaking strong in the preview there. Yeah, we're going to try that out. <laughs> That sounds dope as shit. Okay, so... Oh, look, that is cool, though. Looks like it's got two levels of charge. Man, I can't wait to try that out. Hmm? Atreus would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. He disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to fight at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one core concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time, Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Well done, bro. <laughs> She's kind of thinking the same thing Atreus was. Like, ah, yeah, not bad. We finally got one over on old Odin. So that was the rope that I was looking at before. And now we were on those paths that I was checking out at the beginning of this video. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. Well, you might not have a choice, Kratos. You would speak to me of protecting your child. Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. You never know when someone will come along and cut it short. All right. <laughs> I don't know, man. Hasn't Kratos defied fate like eight times already? Throughout all of his games. I guess you could say, well, that was the fate of the Grecian gods. It was different from the fate of the Norse gods. Because it's a whole different type of power. It's a whole different landscape. You're just dealing with different things. To that I say, I guess. <laughs> I don't freaking know. Nobody knows. Ooh, we're close to our objective, apparently. Find a way to cross the broken bridge. Well, let's start with this. Okay. 
I see a Nornier chest over there. You know, guys, one of my favorite TV shows is the show Angel, which is a spinoff of Buffy. Just two really freaking awesome TV shows. What is she looking at? Like she's trying to figure out how to solve this puzzle with me. <laughs> you can probably use those eyelids to get a better angle on the torch, no? Yeah, I'm just working this all out. But uh in the show Angel, you know, prophecy and fate is kind of a big theme. And I don't know, I don't really want to give spoilers for it. I mean, it is a very old show. If you haven't watched it at this point, you're probably never going to. Even though you really Use should. To swing the torch to the other side. Freya, shut up. <laughs> but, um... I don't know. I guess I'll just say... Prophecy is the kind of thing that... Is hugely open to interpretation. And... You don't even really know who made the prophecies. It's kind of like religion in general, right? It's like, you should probably not take too much on Let's faith. Like, you can believe what you want, but I, I, you might end up regretting it. You know what I mean? Really? I thought I'd be able to launch across from right there. So I gotta go, like, the whole way back? <laughs> I suppose so. Well, how am I gonna get? Oh, I guess I can just walk down the slope once I get there. Okay. Oh, that was actually where I wanted it, wasn't it? Go back. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Can I use the bucket to light the torch? How can you, of anyone alive, be squeamish about war? After all the gods you've killed. I have seen enough war to know the cost. And I don't? After the price I paid to end one? Look around you. See what happens when we don't fight for the evil. Sorry, Freya, I can't really focus on what you're saying right now. <laughs> There's a puzzle to solve. How am I supposed to... I guess I have to do it from this side. It's actually a little annoying. But I didn't notice that until I was already over here. And then by that point, you just have to wheel this thing the whole way around again. All right. There's one. We know the other one... Well, one of the other ones is right down here. Still gonna have to find the third one. I actually thought this would be a spot we could run around down here, but we can't. So, I guess we'll look around up here. That's a pretty unique looking tree. Kind of reminds me of that dude from Breath of the Wild. 
that lets you use your uh, Korok seeds to upgrade. What's that dude called? Hestu, I believe was his name. <laughs> Look, they made a Hestu tree. Oh, man. Breath of the Wild 2. As I record this right now, that game comes out in about 147 days. And I want it so bad. Wait, was that all three of them? Am I that drunk? I thought I only got two. <laughs> nope, I did actually get all three. Great. Yay! Health upgrade. All right, now back to the task at hand. Give me your lip, woman. I need that health upgrade. Because you're not helping me out in combat. So I need every advantage I can get. That's one of Odin's captains. Be ready. Oh, great. Well, okay, let's see. We've got full health. We've got... A rage charge ready to go. This Right. Definitely need to avoid that. Okay, I forget how to use this new shield. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ah! All right, buddy. Wow. He's got range, though. Dude, he's got so much range. I wasn't ready for all the range. Dude. I need you to relax. Ooh, okay. I don't think that really worked out the way it's supposed to work for me. I've almost got him stunned, though. Shit, man. <laughs> well, I did almost have him stunned. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was that was not a good fight. <laughs> and that, that was on me. I, I failed pretty hard there. I got flustered. And I even missed my double blue ring parry that I almost never miss. Okay. Shit. I'm not used to having to double tap L1 for that. Okay. Oh, Jesus, man. Oh, the, the tree blocked my vision. There we go. Sometimes it's tricky to time that throw. Alright, alright. Jesus. No. Give me your stun bar. What is that? Jesus, man. Can I... Okay, I don't really know what to do about that. Ugh. No! No! <laughs> Got him. Wow. Let's read about that guy. 
What sort must a mortal be in life to be given such power and authority in Valhalla? To wield a scythe and defend territory with such vigor, I imagine this Isuke, a farmer who took up arms against some threat and proved adept at slaughter. And for his valor, he is awarded an afterlife of more slaughter. I wonder whether he even has a choice. Well, that's a sad thought. Oh, we got a new relic. Glaive of D -D 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 <laughs> Uh, Throw a Bifrost Chakram that swerves into enemies. Dude, that sounds dope as shit. Upgrade the increase. Upgrades increase the number of Chakrams thrown. Um, yeah, I'm going to need to try that for sure. Because then I assume that if, if I can get the Bifrost damage on them, then I just got to hit them once and they blow up, right? Probably not an instant kill, but probably really powerful. The glaive thrown by the Einherjar is synonymous with death. It's said that there is no surface it cannot cut. Okay, cool. We got some new skills. Oh, look, I unlocked a mod token slot for a freezing throw. But I am not going to do that just yet because I actually want to upgrade my Spartan Rage. I think that'll help me out a little bit. Next upgrade is 8,000. No big deal. Just a cool 8,000. Oh, yeah, that was that was a fight. Not a great time to have a brand new shield that you're not used to using. Uh, especially since I just had so much practice with the old shield fighting that fucking Draugr. But now it's like... <laughs> Now I gotta double tap L to do the attack. And I, that's what I couldn't wrap my my mind around. Like I didn't have the muscle memory to do that in the middle of the fight. So I definitely gotta practice with this thing. Ragnarok will not bring back what you have lost any more than killing me. I am reaching my for enlightened platitudes from you today. Can you please just shut up and kill things? <laughs> what do you think I've been doing? <laughs> Damn. Let's over here. Enlightened platitudes. That's funny. Oh, look at the sky. Purdy. I wish I lived in a place where you could see that many stars. Are those wolves or are those hyenas? They look a little small to be wolves. Let's go. Tell you what, Freya. You can bitch at me when you actually help out. How's that sound? I know you don't really have a choice right now. I get that on an academic level. But that also means you should shut the fuck up because you're completely dependent on me to finish my task and help you survive in this realm. So if I want to loot a couple chests along the way, you can shut the fuck up and wait for me to do it. Busket. Really? Oh, you gotta wait for him to open up. Is that another legendary chest over there? It may be. Darn, I did it again. Swing this bad boy around. Or not. Oh, look, there's also one over there. Oh, 
Well. How's this gonna work? Oh, okay. Yep, you got me. First time today, you got me. Good work. Good job. Okay, that one was bullshit. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> 